So this poem is called Come on Pilgrim to a Pagan Place and it's uh, a mashup of uh, album titles and lyrics and song lyrics and song titles from the um, early 90s. Uh, basically, I had spent some time thinking about that period, uh, my late teens, mid to late teens and early 20s. And when I was trying to recapture it visually, I realized, no, what we all had then before we had language and before we had the ability to express what we were really thinking or feeling was song lyrics. Uh, so we, 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 we didn't really officially or formally sit down to sing to one another, but we wandered the streets of, of Tala, of Kondok and of Nace, where I lived later. Uh, and these choruses and lyrics kind of spoke for what we felt and what we wanted to say before uh, some of us managed to get a grasp on language. So I suppose, um, one lyric or one song title can speak for a whole period, I think, if it's placed at the right time. So this is Come on Pilgrim to a Pagan Place, uh, and it's for Lurkin Brennan. How many winters in the wild woods down in Cairns? Any wonder we had stiff little fingers. They were stunning days all the same, the real wonder stuff. Hop Two, three, four. We were a new model army modelled on your brother's vinyl collection. We'd seen the whole of the moon and shed our father's clothes and anyone who couldn't keep up was just a Philistine. But then we were like emotional fish swimming streams of whiskey. Some had suicidal tendencies, paranoid visions from too much of that petrol emotion. I should have copped by the cut of those violent femmes that it was always going to be a blue Monday. But we bantered on through the night like talking heads. Is this my beautiful life? No, my friend. This is the sea. <laughs>